we'll all wake up monday morning to the new financial year and it won't be an april fools joke when we realize that stock markets are at an all time high gold is at an all time high and real estate in any case has been boiling for last couple of years if the question on your mind is where to invest mark salary then you are watching absolutely the right video let me try and address the question why investing in india specifically in gold is more profitable by first talking about the raw numbers of gold consumption india's temples alone have about estimated 22000 tons of gold with them this number amounts to 1 crore 50 lakh crores this number is approximately 50% of india's gdp the second point women in india hold about 11% of the world's gold mine till date as ornamental gold both these categories of gold are a one way street this was an interesting aspect of consumption which is there only in india let's take the example of a travelator which we see on airports so when we are going towards our flight we can stroll our luggage and walk second is we can embark on a travelator the travelator itself moves at a certain speed we can walk over it So what happens is basically we are moving at approximately double the speed. So let me try and fit that analogy to gold here now. So India imports about ninety percent of its gold that it consumes in a year. All that gold is priced in USD. India's currency devalues by roughly three to four percent every year. The gold prices increase by three to four percent even if international prices of gold are stagnant. There are certain companies, banks, which are authorized by RBI and the government to import gold into the country. You as an individual can go say to Dubai, buy a little bit of gold, and come back, but that won't make a big dent to the country's consumption. When the importers import the gold, the gold is getting dearer for them because of the currency depreciation. If the prices in the local markets are lower, they will not import. This phenomena will continue till we are a net trade deficit country. which means we are importing more than exporting as a result the prices in india will move up faster than they do globally especially in context of us dollar which is till today the reserved currency in the world now let me talk about why gold will not correct or correct a lot in domestic markets in the times to come let me take you a little back in history there have been few spikes where the gold prices have gone up a lot the first one was somewhere around 1980 what happened around that time iran iraq war which kind of shook the entire global economy because of the oil crisis the next crisis was around the year 2000 that was the y2k burst one of the worst crises in the us markets in percentage terms then the next big one was 2008 lehman brothers crisis there was a global meltdown and gold got into the best bull runs of its life probably that lasted several years next big crisis pandemic in the pandemic gold prices in india nearly doubled why i am talking about all this history because gold goes up like anything whenever there is big uncertainty is there uncertainty coming up big time equity markets have not taken a rest at all globally one of the worst printing of money has happened in the recent years us has printed 90% of its currency in circulation india has printed 66% of its currency in circulations since the law of demonetization all the spikes that you are seeing in economies gdps stock markets somewhere they are reflecting the huge amount of currency printing that has happened globally no one is on a gold standard these days so most governments including us including india they have tried to meet their expenditure targets their deficits their loan payments by printing more money most central banks understand the significance of currency printing and its long term impact that is why most central banks who can afford they have been buying gold like anything right now will central banks let their holdings price go down will us want its gold reserves to devalue of course not they will not let gold go down in terms of uncertainty equity markets are on the edges all investors will now look for year on year and quarter on quarter growth at some point the high numbers of previous years will show the numbers of current quarter current year stock market will not reward that with high pe's stocks will correct pe's have to become more realistic at some point of time unless they can be justified by continued growth like say nvidia is promising 
the biggest factor is china china's domestic consumption is looking on very sticky wickets right now overall dip in china consumption will impact all countries say the steel market soda ash market copper market all construction and manufacturing linked commodities will take a beating because of the demand compression in china gold versus silver us does not have the largest silver reserve that's point number 1 the most influential countries have to have strategic reserves of a commodity to safeguard its interest second is there is significant reserve of silver actively being produced by russia as well as china so if silver was to increase a lot then that will not be in favor of us which is right now not in great terms with either russia or china then for any individual government corporate fund house to hold physical silver in their custody in a safe manner they need lot more space than gold for example if fort knox was to hold silver instead of gold it will probably be able to hold 1 or 2% of the value it holds currently in terms of the gold it has it is estimated roughly 300 billion dollars worth of gold is there in fort knox just for context also while there are ornaments made out of silver they are typically done by people who can't afford gold in marriages also you wear gold jewelry you gift gold coins that is why gold not silver while bitcoin has been going up a lot indian government does not encourage bitcoin similarly bitcoin is not welcome in china either if two of the most populous countries in the world are not encouraging and welcoming bitcoin i don't want to put that in the same category as gold in the long run equity will outperform gold for sure for long term investing for 10 15 years right now may not be the greatest time can i or anyone else foresee the future in terms of how much markets will go up down in the near future in the mid term no one knows that markets are stretched right now stocks are overpriced earnings may not justify the levels of stock the slightest bit of uncertainty like a war or something may break the markets by 20 30 40 percent it happened in the pandemic time also markets recovered yes they went up a lot yes but that rally has been fueled by currency printing not necessarily fundamentals fundamentals have to catch up at some point of time that has not happened for 4 years every 4 to 5 years there is at least one major fall ukraine fall was just one week v shaped recovery i won't count that there is one fall due sooner than later when it will happen i don't know no one knows so for now again i have covered a topic in my previous video also may putting a bit of your money safely into gold safely the relative world may help your portfolio a lot this strategy has been explained in detail in the video please watch it if you haven't this strategy will change over time whenever equity markets have reasonably corrected i'll again move out of gold into equity when i started this channel somewhere around diwali the first video i made was gold at 58000 should i invest two months earlier i created another video gold at 63000 and i at that time thought that gold will go to 80000 today gold is somewhere around 67000 already 80000 is not far off in fact i will say that this should have been cross 670000 but indian currency has actually appreciated a bit had the currency been weak gold would have crossed 70000 by now now let me take you through how my strategy is doing i bought some sgb at 58000 levels then some more around 64000 levels and i had exited certain equity as of now i am not making any changes to the philosophy per se because there is elections coming up we might print more currency us government may print more currency their elections in november all these things may take the markets up i am not worried about losing the upside i am more interested in protecting my downside right now so i am going to put more money into gold slightly from equity slightly from reserves that money will as per my strategy go into the sgb classes that will mature somewhere around november december that is where i personally feel that opportunity for investing into equity will be high what happens if that opportunity comes earlier i have again created a video on using overdraft for that so i have certain reserves in fixed deposits on which i have overdraft i will take money from the bank i'll utilize it for a few months and i'll repay the bank once my sgb matures one question i get asked all the time which format of gold to invest in no the answer is not sgb it depends upon your use case first use case 
if you have to buy gold for personal use for ornamental use then sgv can't replace physical jewelry the typical response of many people these days is oh jewelry will have 6% gst 3% while buying 3% while selling also there will be making charges think of it like your house you buy your house you live in it till the time you live in it you can't monetize it you pay maintenance charges you pay house tax think of jewelry as the same way till you are consuming it don't treat it like an investment perhaps you can put it in your asset column but as an illiquid one till the time you are owning it the day your decision changes you want to monetize you sell the jewelry you will pay 3% of the 6% gst if you bought the jewelry from a reputed brand they will probably take it back at a very good price also so for option 1 physical jewelry sgb is not a replacement you buy jewelry it gives you pleasure the objective of life is eventually to be happy second purpose is jewelry for your kids marriage it could be a boy or a girl it may not be a great idea to buy gold for your kids if the marriage is a little away like say 10 years 15 years away there are two reasons for that first is your kid may decide to get married and settle in a geography other than india where jewelry may not be that popular second part is 10 15 years down the line the preferences fashion the social fabric may change jewelry may not be same as how it looks today in that case for case 2 better go for investment into jewelry at par with gold and when you want to buy jewelry say 10 15 years down the line you can sell off your investment at the same price as gold in the market and monetize it yes the answer is something like sgv digital gold carries gst so you pay 6% gst in digital gold you can't wear it you don't get 2.5% per annum interest on it so why digital gold for me electronic format is sgv it is backed by rbi and government of india so you are not taking risk beyond the digital gold part in fact digital gold is with a bank sgb could also be used as a strategic investment i have covered that topic in one of my previous videos i'll leave a link in the description do watch it if you haven't watched it already check your use case decide what you are going to invest in accordingly